Hello, welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Excuse me, I wanted to come on and share a small collective haul. Um, some of you may know and some of you may not, but um, kind of on a lot of medication right now. I, if you can, I don't know if you can see my crutches in the background, but I have, um, what they thought I had was IT band syndrome. Um, I have a lot of medical issues and a couple years ago, um, I fractured my pelvis. I had a double fracture of my pelvis without falling, without any trauma. So come to find out, I have um, what they call is like MGUS, which is pretty much pre-multiple myeloma, but I also, my bones are very compromised. Um, I have chronic vitamin deficiencies. So I've um, been having um, extreme pain in my um, right knee. And um, my doctor, first we thought it was IT band syndrome, which is a band that runs from your pelvis to your um, shin. And mine has just gotten worse rather than getting any better. Um, I can no longer support myself. Um, I have to use the crutches. I've been to the ER twice um, and just to get shots and medicine. And um, I've had two x-rays, I've had a CT scan. All of that came out um, fine. There is no, nothing that they can see that was broken. Um, when I fractured my pelvis, they actually had, they had done an x-ray as well and they didn't catch it on the x-ray. It didn't show up. So they ended up doing an MRI um, to diagnose my pelvic fracture. I am scheduled to go in for an MRI next Friday and um, also scheduled to see the orthopedic specialist so that we can try and figure out what's going on. But my pain has been off the charts. I have a very high pain threshold because I am a chronic pain patient. After I fractured my pelvis, I've never been the same. And, um, and so I have a very high pain threshold and this pain in my knee is, um, it feels like a bone pain. So I don't know if anything is fractured or not. Um, if not, we have to figure out what's going on um, inside my knee. Um, oftentimes when I walk or stand, it feels like a rod or a bone is going to pop out. So we're unsure of what it is, but um, I'm kind of medicated up and um, just, um, I'm in an extreme amount of pain. Um, many nights I cannot even sleep because um, the pain gets so bad. <clears throat> so, um, once again, I'm in and out of doctors, a lot of appointments, um, a lot of, I'm supposed to be going to, to physical therapy to try and um, get this IT band to loosen up, but I can't even go to physical therapy right now. My pain is too um, off the charts. So if you're a praying person, please pray for me. I need relief. Um, I really do. And it's, it's, <clears throat> Greg has to do everything for me. So that's really hard for me. Back when I fractured my pelvis, I was on bed rest for a year. And um, because with all of my chronic um, Vitafin deficiencies, it took a year for my bone to heal. Something that would take the normal person maybe 12 weeks. So, um, I'm kind of there again on bed rest until we can figure out what is going on. Um, I love to craft and I can craft some my pain until my pain gets out of control. I just, I can't bend my leg very well. So s sitting up is not, you know, the best spot for me. Plus, you know, I have my craft stuff organized, but I don't want to I have to have Greg get everything out and I can't do it on crutches. So um, I'm crafting as I can and um, you know, I'm just, I'm hanging in there. It's just, um, it's really um, painful. I mean, it brings me to tears. Most days I'm in tears and that's just not who I am. But anyways, I wanted to bring you a small haul. Um, I picked up something from Amazon. I got one thing from Target and then a few goodies from um, the Dollar Tree. Um, the first thing I got was this um, Let Freedom Ring kit. I'll let you see some of the papers that are in there. And then it has a card stock sticker sheet. 
Um, it has um, 12, 12 by 12 double-sided sheets in it. And I think three or four of them are cut apart. So anyways, this was, this kit was um, like really marked down because they had posted it in 2017 and it was posted by Paper House Productions on Amazon. Well, it said in the description that for $4.50, I would get three of these kits. And I was like, oh, there's no way I'm getting three kits. They must have had a typo or something. But apparently they wanted to get rid of all of them. So they put three kits together and sold them as one little lot on Amazon. And sure enough, I got all three kits. So these are great for the 4th of July. So I picked that up on Amazon for $4.50 and I got three of them. And then um, had a couple gift cards for um, Target. And so I picked up my first set of Prism Color um, colored pencils. And this is the Under the Sea set. And you get 12 colored pencils. And there's the, if it's not got a glare on it, there's the colors that you get. So I'm gonna try them out. And um, I know when I see everyone else coloring with them, they are the most beautiful, vivid um, color pencils I've ever seen. So I'm excited to try them. So I picked that up at Target for $9.99. And then at the Dollar Tree, of course, there's big signs outside that they got all new Crafter Square stuff. So I picked up a um, set of paint brushes. Um, I use those for everything, especially mixed media, but you get, you get a small one, pointed one, and then you get a nice big flat one. And then I also picked up this set for a dollar and it's just a really tiny pointed one. And then you get a nice flat one. So you can't have enough paint brushes. And then um, I picked up a pack of the stretch lace. I want to try to start making, I'm getting some beads together and I want to try and do some tassels. So, um, so I got that. I picked up this Crafter Square piercing and scoring tool. So you get the piercer and the score. So that's really cute. Now I pick up this metallic marker and it's, it doesn't say it's white. I'm hoping it's white because I want it to write on my colored paper. Um, I would assume it. Yes, it's white, I think. Yep. So I needed one for um, just, you know, kind of doing details and things on um, on the color paper. And so it's a really good marker. And it's metallic, metallic white marker. So I picked that up. And then I picked up two of these kind of off-white pearls. You get three different sizes. And I have in my um, sequins mix, I've been adding some of these beads and it makes them so pretty and just gives them a little flair. Plus when I start doing the tassels and stuff, then I can also use these. But I picked up that one that's kind of a cream colored. And then I also picked up um, some white ones. Um, they had these Heidi Swap phrase stickers and that one says blessed and I picked up three of the blessed um, phrase stickers. I got some double sided tape. I picked up some um, Crafter Squares foam sheets. They're just little four by six sheets um, in different colors so that I can use them with my die cut machine. And then I picked up some of these beads here come in all different sizes, but I love this pastel mix. And I picked up two of them. And right in the middle, I don't know if you can see them, but those are flowers. Um, so I've got some beads now to start with. And then I picked up some of these, I picked up the purple and the pink of the foam beads. 
And when I do my sequins mix, um, and I said, you know, I add some of the little pearls or whatever, I also add the foam beads in there and it makes just a really cute mix. I make some um, little embellishments with my um, sequins mix. You just put, you just get like a half inch um, circle or square, and then you put some, um, oh, what's it called? It's not um, Nuvo Drops, but it's like Nuvo Drops, but it's, um, and you just put it on there. And then you dip your embellishment, just put it on a, um, on the tweezers, hold it, dip it into your sequin mix, and it makes a really cute embellishment that you can put on your projects. So that is my haul and my story about my leg. Um, I'll kind of keep you updated on how that goes. Um, I'm going to try and craft, but um, like I said, it's, um, I got some stronger medicine today, so it hopefully will not, my pain won't be so sharp and I won't have so many spasms, um, but when it feels like a rod is going through your leg, it's, um, it's quite painful. So, um, have a wonderful Tuesday and I'll be back soon with a, another video.